universal set and the set complement. What is the universal set? The universal set, and that is our notation or symbol for the universal set, is the set that contains all elements of what we are investigating. Let's say, for example, your midterm exam is a departmental examination. Everybody who's, who is taking up math in the modern world will take the same exam. So, as a member of the faculty, I am concerned about the performance of students, the performance of students coming from different colleges and from different sections. The universal set in this case would be all scores or the scores of all students who took the departmental examination. Your school regularly publish a catalog of subjects listed inside that a book are the subjects that, that are available in the university. So the subjects that you study for your course are there. So the list of all subjects that are listed there in the academic catalog is an example of a universal set. Faculty meeting or faculty members in a school. So this is one of our regular activities in the university to meet as a collegial body, all of us, and of course, the moderator of the meeting is always concerned about the participation of the members of the faculty coming from different colleges. But the universal set in this case would be all faculty members of the school, including those who did not attend the meeting. Set complement. So pay attention to the spelling. It's comple. It's not compli. So given a set A, the complement of A, and this is how we write it in mathematical symbols, you read this as A prime or A complement. Okay? So either of these means set complement. So it is the set of elements that are in the universal set but are not in set A. So for example, this is our universal set, the red rectangle. This, is, this blue circle here represents set A. So everything that is outside A, but inside your universal set, is your A complement. Let U be equal to X, where X is a student in your school. So that would be the student population of your school. Let D be equal to X, such that X is a member of your section. He is a student in your section. So what are the elements of D complement? What? So everybody, everybody in the school who is not a member of your section or who is not in your section, that would be D complement. More on set complement. So given a universal set, what are the elements of you that are not in you? Nothing. All elements of you are inside you. So, the complement of the universal set is an empty set. What are the elements of the empty set that are not in the empty set? Well, all elements in the universal set would be not in the empty set. So, in this case, the complement of the empty set is going to be your universal set. Subsets of a set. So that is our symbol. A is a subset of B, denoted by this, if and only if all elements of A are also elements of B. So if this is our universal set, and this is our B, A is contained in B. All elements of A are also elements of B. Proper subset. Pay attention to the difference in uh, notations and symbols. Set A is a proper subset of B, denoted by this. If and only if all elements of A are also elements of B, but, but A is not equal to B. So the analog of the proper subset and the subset in the set of real numbers is like the, the relation of inequality. For subset, less than or equal, what that means is x is less than 5, or it can be equal to 5. The analog of the proper subset would be this, strictly less than 5. It cannot be equal to 5. Subset relationships. For any set A, 
A is a subset of itself, and the empty set is a subset of A. How many subsets does a set have? If set A has n elements, the number of subsets of A is 2 to the n. So for example, we have this set. The number of elements in A is 2. What are those subsets? Let us list them down. The empty set. The set itself. 1. The set containing 1. The set containing negative 1. And how many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 2 squared, which is equal to 4. 